the shadows. Let's can do that. Today we're back with a 2017 French action thriller film starring Mathilde Lutz, Kevin Jansen, Vincent Columba, and Guillaume Bouchard, written and directed by Carl E. Forgot. The story concerns a young woman who is assaulted by three guys and left for dead in the desert, where she recovers and seeks vengeance on her assailants. Hello, and welcome to Binge King. Before we start, go ahead and subscribe. Also, press the bell button to get the latest updates about new movies. Watch out for spoilers and take care. Without any further delay, let's start. Jennifer, nicknamed Jen, is an American socialite who is having an affair with her married next-door neighbor, Richard. A socialite is a prominent member of high society who is usually a woman from an affluent and potentially aristocratic family. Richard's helicopter pilot offers him some peyote as a gift before he travels for his yearly hunting trip with pals Stan and Dimitri. Stan and Dimitri, on the other hand, arrive a day early, disappointing Richard who had hoped to keep Jen's identity a secret. Richard urges Jen to hide the peyote from Stan and Dimitri in her necklace. While the three guys and Jen have a good night of drinking and dancing, Stan tries to start sex with Jen the next morning when Richard is away, alleging she had come on to him the night before. He rapes her when she refuses. Dimitri witnesses the rape, but chooses to ignore it. Richard reappears chastises Stan and offers Jen a considerable sum of money to put the event behind her. When Richard refuses to send Jen home and she threatens to divulge the nature of their relationship to Richard's wife, he slaps her and she flees to the desert, where she is pursued by the three men who end up at a precipice. Instead of calling his pilot to take Jen home, Richard pushes her off the cliff, impaling her on a tree during the fall. The three men leave her for dead after she passes out, promising to return later and take her body before continuing their hunting trip, as if nothing had occurred. Jen awakens and uses her lighter to set fire to the tree in which she is impaled, forcing it to shatter and allowing her to flee with a limb still lodged in her body. She explores the desert, attempting to dodge the three guys who have noticed she had fled and have split up to look for her. Jen comes across Dimitri urinating in a river and tries to shoot him with his own shotgun, but it's empty. Dimitri has the upper hand and attempts to drown Jen, but she stabs both of his eyes with her hunting knife. Jen removes his supplies as he bleeds dead in the river. Jen hides in a cave and numbs her sulfate peyote before extracting the branch and cauterizing the cut with an aluminum beer can, emblazoning herself with a phoenix logo from the drink, symbolizing her escape using fire to rise from the ashes. Cauterization is a medical procedure that involves burning a region of the body in order to eliminate or shut it off. It eliminates some tissue in an attempt to reduce bleeding and damage, remove unwanted growth, or prevent other medical problems, such as infections when antibiotics are unavailable. The procedure was once widely used to treat wounds. Cautery was once thought to protect against infection, but new studies suggest that it actually increases the chance of infection by causing more tissue damage and creating a more conducive environment for bacterial development. The metal implement, which is usually heated to a dull red glow that a physician uses to create blisters, stops bleeding from a blood artery and for other similar objectives is known as cautery. Jen sets out to find the men who are hunting her after a series of dreams about them. Richard instructs Stan to chase Jen down in his SUV after he and Stan find and dispose of Dimitri's body. While Stan is in Jen's sights, he runs out of gas, and Jen shoots him in the shoulder as he tries to replenish the tank. Jen and Stan get into a shootout, and Stan blows Jen's earlobe off with a rifle. While Jen lures Stan to stepping on a large piece of broken glass, Stan tries to run Jen down with an SUV after removing the glass from his foot. Jen, on the other hand, kills him with Dimitri's shotgun and steals the automobile. Richard gets home, summons the helicopter, and showers, but he hears a disturbance and searches the property for Jen. She tracks him down and shoots him in the stomach after he has given up. Richard knocks Jen out with a shotgun. As the two chase each other around the home with shotguns, he tries to strangle her, but she shoves her palm into the womb in his stomach, causing him to let her go. Jen reclaims her shotgun and kills Richard by shooting him in the chest. Jen goes out of the house, 
bruised but triumphant, and turns around as she hears the chopper approaching. The name of this amazing movie is Revenge. Revenge had its international premiere on September 11, 2017, as part of the Midnight Madness section of the Toronto International Film Festival. Rezo Films premiered the film in French theaters on February 7, 2018 to positive reviews with praise for the narrative, director, photography, and Lutz's performance. On September 11, 2017, the film made its global premiere at the Toronto International Film Festival. Shudder has previously bought the film's distribution rights. Before it was released in Shudder, it was confirmed that Neon will distribute the film theatrically in the United States. Rezo Films distributed the film in France on February 7, 2018. It was released in limited theaters and via video on demand in the United States on May 11, 2018. The film has a 92% approval rating based on 129 reviews and review aggregated website Rotten Tomatoes, with an average rating of 7.53 out of 10. Revenge slices and dices genre cliches, operating within an exploitation framework while adding a current yet nevertheless viscerally exhilarating feminist spin. Says the website's critical consensus, the film has a weighted average score of 81 out of 100 on Metacritic, based on 23 critics. Blunt, brutal, and stylish, almost in spite of itself. Wrote A.O. Scott of the New York Times, Revenge is a blend of exploitation and feminism. The New York Times' Kevin Mayer, as a more critical assessment, dubbed the feminist rape revenge film. It just repeats all the classic tenets of that most dubious of genres. That's all for today, folks. Tell us in the comment section what's your point of view about this amazing movie. See you soon with another amazing video.